of support. Everyone in the room is a huge supporter of the museum, and you're right, there couldn't be uh, a better place uh, to have this discussion uh, this morning. Shall I explain what this is about, first and foremost? Um, we are trying to do things uh, differently, do politics a bit differently. So the idea behind this, um, our manifesto process, is to have a series of events like this on the main policy themes to give people, the people of Greater Manchester, the chance to write the manifesto for its future. That's basically what this uh, is about. So your job this morning, uh, over a couple of hours and into the afternoon, is to help us write uh, a new plan for transport and the environment in the, uh, in the city region. So no pressure on you at all. But when you leave here today, I want you to feel that we've, together, over a couple of hours, come to a kind of shared understanding of the challenges and a, a shared sense of the, of the priorities. I thought to get the kind of debate, get, get everybody involved in the discussion, I thought we'd have a little bit of audience um, participation uh, this morning. Um, how many people have cycled here uh, today? Oh my goodness, right, that's a, you know, that, that is a good question, that is impressive though, I have to say, that is, I get the feeling we're going to get some really good cycling policy advice in the uh, course, of, uh, course of today. How many people uh, have come by public transport? Mm. Impressive as well. Yeah, no, no, no. So am I the only car? Uh, the only car? <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a good start, is it? Walked. 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 How many walked? Oh. Oh, this is this is very very impressive. Okay. And uh, well, actually, how many bus and how many train? How many bus? Uh, oh, a bit fewer there. That. Yeah, that's interesting. How many train? Metrolink? Okay, get a sense of this. So yeah. how many people have actually driven? Oh. Only you. Shame. Oh, no. Shame. 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 I feel already humble enough to walk out of the <laughs> But, in my defence, uh, there are parts of Greater Manchester where some people don't have much choice. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm afraid uh, our area uh, falls into, into that category. And I think it's clear to everybody, isn't it, if you look at what is happening at the moment across the city region, the roads are basically full, aren't they? Um, congestion is becoming worse, it feels to me, all of the time. And that's a problem in and of itself, but it's also a product of the failure of this country to build a decent transport infrastructure uh, in all parts of the country. I, I've always said, said this, but I, I'll say it again this morning. If the commuters of London had Greater Manchester's transport system, there'd be riots on the streets. They wouldn't put up with it. And, um, you know, it's too expensive. Uh, it isn't integrated. Uh, it's not enough, um, it's not high enough quality. Because people are packed on at some of these uh, train and bus services. Uh, it, it's just too patchy. And as a result, we see far too many people having to resort uh, to use uh, their cars. That in turn, as we were just hearing from Georgina, creates issues around uh, air quality, uh, and that's a theme that I would want to get into uh, today. And it's, it actually, in the end, also though, affects people's quality of life and stress levels, and I think that is something that, that is happening at the moment, as people are spending you know, long periods of time in their car, you know, journeys that used to, I can say this as somebody who does have to drive a lot around Greater Manchester, journeys that used to take 30 minutes, 40 minutes, are now routinely taking uh, well over an hour. So this is affecting uh, everybody. And one of the very specific things that we wanted to come out of today was the beginnings of a plan to tackle uh, congestion that is also obviously then a transport, uh, a transport plan. Uh, very pleased that the ch Chair of uh, Transport for Greater Manchester, Andrew Fender, Councillor Andrew Fender, is here today. He's going to be speaking to us uh, shortly. 